so today we're going to go to South LA Animal Shelter to pick up some baby bunnies because we're doing a super crazy thing. We're going to be fostering a litter of six rabbits for the next couple of months. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, go then, breakfast. Why are we fostering a litter of rabbits? Well, there was a huge hoarding situation um, in Mar Vista a few weeks back. If you're in the Los Angeles area, you might have heard about it. But basically 300 rabbits were seized by Los Angeles Animal Services and like all the shelters, all the rescues in the area kind of working around the clock trying to get these rabbits um, a place to stay basically. So there's a lot of rabbits just kind of sitting in shelters and, and there's, a, there's some young ones like this litter, like super young, under eight weeks. And the shelters don't have the facilities to look after them so they were going I was told they were going to be euthanized so I kind of really took pity on them and I really wanted to do something about it um, so if you are looking for a rabbit you guys like seriously look look in your shelters check out your your local rescues because Getting them from a pet shop is, is really, it doesn't help the situation. Getting them from a breeder doesn't help the situation. And and a lot of these rabbits in shelters, that is, that's their fate sometimes. Sometimes their intake is more than, than they adopt out and they have to make room. And that's the reality of shelter animals. Sorry, sorry to get real. I can park here. Reserved. We can't park here. <laughs> this is it. South LA Animal Shelter. Let's go get the bunnies. To pick up some supplies we need alfalfa hay alfalfa pellets because these bunnies are super little maybe some um, litter as well would be good but we're here at my favorite feed store feed stores guys they're the best places to get hay it's just so much cheaper that way but yeah let's go look how huge this bag of pellets is I hope they eat a lot. And we are 
back. It has been quite a day. Um, there was a lot of traffic and we're really kind of exhausted now, but you know, that's LA for you. Okay. Hey, you guys. Look. Ooh, this is where you're gonna be staying for a little while, okay? Pepper, Wally, you got roommates. Don't worry, they're not going to be going anywhere near your space. They're going to have their own corner that you don't care about anyway. So we're going to get in the rest of the stuff in the car and then I'm going to set up a pen for these guys and make them feel at home. has pretty wide bars and it's not really suitable for housing baby bunnies they can very easily slip through them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to table tie some of these NIC grids and it, that should work perfectly but um, before I do that though I'm actually going to let these guys out of that carrier because they've been in there far too long and I'm pretty sure they're really hungry and really thirsty Okay, you guys. Find me. Babies have settled in so well. I got them one of these chew garlands. They're super fun, actually. They come with all the components separate and you can like make it yourself, thread them all through the little wires they give you. Super fun for kids or something. I'm thinking of expanding the pen a bit because they've been doing like quite a few zoomies and binkies and their litter habits are already pretty good. We have sex them, we've weighed them, they're getting some dewormer. We have four boys, two girls, and their personalities are really starting to shine. Tiny Timmy is, uh, he's the little runt, and he is oddly the most outgoing of the lot. I have got to admit, I do have a bit of a soft spot for this guy. And Tiny Tim may be your name, mine it? We do have to name them all and we have some good ideas already but if you guys have any suggestions you want to put out there then just leave them in the comments i would love to have a look and see what you think i can't stress enough how important it is to adopt and not shop it makes space at the shelters and it discourages breeding and by adopting you're not only saving the life of the rabbit you're taking in but you're also helping out the next bunny in need who will take their place